So hi dear Cancer, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Cancer Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 17 till the 23rd of April. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are Cancer. Let's see what's happening. We got the temperance card. Somebody feels uh, being very, very patient with you. Somebody feels either they are blocked or uh, you have blocked them or uh, they have blocked you. Or somebody feels like just uh, keeping the situation, you know, uh, on check or taking a stand for themselves or fighting or being in a defensive kind of mode right now in the situation. So along with this, <laughs> they feel like being patient, remaining calm and patient is the only solution. Let's clarify the patient's temperance card. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius or Aries Leo Sagittarius. Let's clarify the temperance. We have the Fool, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody feels like, okay. Somebody feels like having a brand new chapter opening up in the situation where they are going to be very, very happy in their life, right? Somebody feels like being patient is the only solution to the problem and being patient is the only thing that can help them to come out of this abandonment and trust issues. Or this left out, feeling left out kind of uh, issues that they are facing. So somebody is definitely feeling left out in this situation, in this condition, in this relationship. Okay, it could be you, could be the other person. But somebody is patiently waiting for the time where they will be able to come out of this situation uh, completely and they will be happy again. Now I don't know if they are attaching this happiness to you or it is just their personal you know, view for themselves. I really don't know about this. No idea. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. <clears throat> so don't go with the signs only, go with the energies. Let's see what do you feel about this person or the situation right now, Cancer. We have the Four of Swords. You feel like, okay, you feel like remaining silent. You feel like uh, just uh, healing yourself and coming out of a painful cycle of your life and uh, not giving any kind of energy to this, at least not on the physical uh, level. Let's clarify this. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Healing yourself. Praying, meditating, healing, taking care of yourself. Let's clarify this Four of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups. You are feeling like very, very, super, very, very clear about what kind of long-term commitment or long-term partnership or happiness or marriage or something like this you want in your life okay you feel like gaining all the clarity of the universe cutting all those situations over that's not giving you happiness in some cases you are very very clear that all you need is the past person or a specific person that you are going to go ahead with you in your life with uh, in your life and you are just manifesting that uh, silently in your life you are not showing the interest to them you are not showing the interest to other people or uh, for them like telling the like telling to other people about them but silently you are wishing for some kind of reconciliation with the person with whom you feel like you are going to get married in the future i know this cancer you are silently manifesting this okay in some cases somebody uh, somebody is with somebody else but you still feel that let's wait let's uh, cut the crap and let's manifest this person in my life silently without telling anybody even telling myself that I need this person in my life, but you're doing it anyway. You are feeling like doing this. Okay. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just go with the energies, not with the signs. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation, for this connection? Cancer. The Moon card. This person, okay. This person wants to cut the uh, unknown fear, the kind of energy, the secretive kind of energy, the not being able to see the clear picture of the situation kind of energy. So this person definitely wants clarity, truth. This person don't want any kind of secret or don't want any kind of blame games or negativity around the situation. Let's clarify the moon card. You could be dealing with the Pisces here. So... The Nine of Swords, the Two of uh, Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This person is too much stressed out about this situation between you and them. 
they're going back and forth about it they're very much stressed about the situation see your manifestation is kind of working cancer i don't know if this is a positive manifestation or what you are doing i really don't know no idea about this but your manifestation is kind of working this person is uh, not able to sleep at night they're very much in, very much in stress about it, this this situation between you and them one day they want to start a connection with you at least a friendship kind of energy one day they are like okay i don't want it i want the i don't want this uh, shit back again in my life because it's too it's too painful or it's too scary or it's never going to work out <laughs> so all they want is to come out of this stressful kind of energy and be sure about this but they are not able to do that cool taurus virgo capricorn gemini libra aquarius and pisces let's see what uh, do you want from this particular person or situation what are your intentions for this we got the tower okay you want some kind of breakthrough you want some kind of breakthrough you want growth and expansion again it could be a libra or taurus that you are dealing with you want some kind of breakthrough in the situation you want something like uh, to fall apart so that uh, you can make sense of it okay i don't know you you want something shocking and sudden in the situation let's clarify the tower okay it could be possible that this person is already connected with somebody and you want to break the connection and uh, want this person uh, by hook or crook that kind of energy i'm taking i'm sorry i might be wrong but uh, some of you really literally want it even if it is evil or even if it is good you don't care you just want it the hanged man the three of pentacles two of cups see you you uh, want to remove the stagnant kind of energy you want to remove any kind of third party kind of energy between you guys whether it's work whether it's money issues whether it's a romantic third party you want to you want this person to see things from a different perspective from a different angle and feel the soulmate kind of energy that you are feeling for them okay you want some kind of major breakthrough in the situation you want them to realize something huge about the situation between you and them again it could be possible that this is a new kind of energy that you are obsessed with because i am calling it uh, calling it obsession because it's not looking healthy to me but you want it by hook or by, by crook kind of energy you want something to work out so badly cancer and you want someone to realize that this is a soulmate kind of energy a soulmate kind of connection again the ro roles can be reversed also please keep that in mind so cancer pisces scorpio taurus virgo capricorn let's see what is coming towards you till the 23rd of april cancer let's see what's coming towards you page of cups okay nine of pentacles okay i think somebody is going to find you very attractive uh, very independent attractive and beautiful and somebody is going to come towards you with some kind of proposal or somebody will start opening up to you it could be a new person or new energy i don't uh, i'm not picking the same energy that you're manifesting or try to make come to um, try to make uh, uh, to work out with somebody i do see a new person a new energy a new kind of connection emerging up popping up let's clarify the page of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy sometimes when you're trying to manifest something specific very specific the universe is going to you know uh, offer us something better to test us if we are uh, looking for ma like uh, happiness or we are just obsessed with something that's not even meant for us that kind of energy let's clarify the page of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy we have this six of wands the king of swords empress card somebody is going to come towards you with lots of truth and clarity that all they want is to have a growth and expansion and a family and a long term partnership with you somebody is coming towards you with lots of successful and victorious kind of energies that all they want is growth and expansion all they want is happiness all they want is truth and clarity and honesty in the situation and i do see it's a new person or a new energy or you are going to open up with somebody new with this energy of like look uh, i want a new person a new connection but all i want is success victory growth and expansion in my particular in my personal life also and along with you also in a relationship also so lots of truth and clarity lots of growth and expansion and lots of this energy of you know being the center of attention of somebody's world i think this is a new person or new energy that's going to make you feel like a uh, 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 most important person of their life somebody is going to make you feel like you are the most important person for them okay or somebody is going to make you feel like apple of the eye kind of energy 
beautiful i'm a cancer moon and cancer ascendant so if somebody is loving me this much i will fuck the past person <laughs> i will just go with them if they are good looking mm-hmm. and 6 feet and uh, <laughs> if they are really in love with me and they really want me to be with them and if they are going to support me in my career mm-hmm. lots of uh, if right but i know i have a list anyway i'm just kidding so thank you so much yeah i have the guidance left let's see what is the guidance for you people for this situation you could be the person could be a taurus they are going to be a libra might be gemini libra aquarius aries leo sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio every sign is there so just go with the energy is not with the sign let's see but something very beautiful is opening up with uh, in your life cancer do not spoil it because of your obsession with something or someone specific please do not spoil it it's really beautiful knight of cups the hermit the page of wands see the universe is also telling me the same thing okay if somebody is coming towards you with love or if the universe if you are feeling universal love from lots of people and getting lots of attention from lots of people think about it what is that one thing that is uh, like like uh, making you different from others what is that one thing that people are connected to people are coming towards you right at least start opening up to new people and new energies and do not reject this idea of connecting with new energies like uh, straight away because i do see new people new energies new love lots of uh, beautiful things coming your way but you are the one who is stopping yourself from getting it or you are the one creating this bad luck kind of energy for yourself by not opening up to these new situation new people because you are in this energy of i want that only or i want that kind of specific kind of energy only you are not even ready to explore new people new things new situations how are you going to judge whether this is the best one or something best like the bestest is yet to come i know bestest is not a word but anyway i'm just trying to make you understand so i hope you're understanding my point cancer okay so this is what i have for you so hope it is going to help you so thank you so much for tuning in cancer i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste